Hello, my name is Hongu Jin, and today I would like to introduce you to a restaurant located in the downtown of Daegu. I introduce you to Cuisine. Here are the insights. The artwork and the design of the interior looks very pleasing. This is the menu. It consists of 13 dishes including different kinds of omelette rice and pastas. I ordered 5 menus including the 4 most popular dishes and one bizarre looking dish. The first one to introduce is the half and half omelette rice which consists of an omelette rice with half tomato sauce and half cream sauce. The visual looked very pleasing. I liked how the sauce was given half each side so that people could taste two different flavors and also could taste both sauces together. Overall, the score for this dish was 3 out of 5. The next dish that I ordered was the white cream sauce omelette rice. While there was the plain omelette rice that had the tomato sauce, the visual in the menu made me choose the white cream sauce omelette rice. Overall, the visual is amazing as the egg creates a round shape that consists of fried rice inside. The taste was somehow disappointing since the combination of fried rice and the cream sauce caused the dish to taste greasy and later it was hard for me to eat without a coke. The score for this dish was 2 out of 5. The next was the rosé chicken pasta. It was refreshing since I was a bit getting tired of rice. The dish looked overall amazing as it consisted of the rosé sauce, which is a mixture of tomato and cream sauce, and a chicken cutlet. The chicken cutlet was crispy and the taste of the sauce reminded me of American cheddar, just like the color of the sauce. The balance between the chicken and the sauce went well and the noodles of the pasta were well cooked. The score for this dish was 4 out of 5. Next came the egg in hell, which I heard was one of the most popular dishes in the restaurant. At first, it looked like an ordinary tomato soup along with 4 baguettes around the corners. But inside of the soup, there were rice, sausage, and ham, which surprised me as the ingredients did not seem to match at all. However, the spiciness and the cheese allowed the soup to go along with the rice, and the baguettes gave me the joy of going on with the traditional soup and bread. The dish was satisfactory, and the score I gave was 5 out of 5. The last dish that I ordered was the french fries pizza. Just by the name, I was very curious and wanted to try and see what it tasted like. However, when the dish came, the visual was different from what I expected. It was very greasy and mushy just from the melted cheese, and the taste was worse. It felt just like moisty french fries mixed it with ketchup that are covered with melted cheese. This was something I thought I could make at home. I gave a score of 1 out of 5. Well, except for the pizza, the experience in the restaurant was overall great and it made me want to come here again. With the interiors and visuals of the food, I believe it would be a great for couples on a date or just for a dine with families. This is the end of my review for the restaurant cuisine. Thank you for watching.